Though I'm ready to move on any time, because when be my trade for all in the hall tonight. Professionalism is what we proclaim. A tag of excellence as our aim. Organizations work with our vision. Parading every corridor with our ideas to find. Everybody here tonight. Now I think I need to get ahead and take a break. Realizing the MC is almost ready. Ready. He grabs the microphone, I'm just about to end the song. So I'm getting ready. Anytime from now, I'll move off stage. If you are ready, just give me a sign. When the MC takes over, so I'm ready to take a break. When you moved out of the hectic traffic in town, getting here on time wasn't easy. But then for now we say, you're welcome everyone. Take the night one by one. So then, welcome, welcome everybody. Yeah, wanna Kwabo, we welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome everybody. Yeah, my one, yeah, my one, I'll cry We are just about to start a new experience. Are you ready for the walk? Are you ready for the walk? We're ready to start a new experience. You've made history for getting involved. We are ready to start a new experience. That's what it's all about. We understand from every step we would be taking. We are ready for a lovely experience. Everybody in the hall would contribute to the success of this vision. Well, that is right. In your own small ways, you must contribute. Success is all it takes.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm ready to end this song right away before the program begins. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight. Indeed, we are grateful for the opportunity to bring all of us here together for this very wonderful program, the launch of the CIMG Professional Marketing Qualifications right here at the UPSA Main Auditorium. Lord, we thank you for the life of everybody here and for how far you have brought CIMG. We also want to take this opportunity to thank the president for signing the act for us and for all those who in various and diverse ways made it possible for this function to commence this very evening. And now, Lord, we commit every aspect of this program into your mighty and capable hands. Our prayer is that we will not just come and launch this program, but as it's been launched, it will attract corporate Ghana and the marketing fraternity so that in the end, many people will roll onto this program and so that the purposes and the objectives for which this program has been put together will come to pass. This we ask in Jesus' mighty name. And let all of us say amen. Amen. Please be seated. And many thanks to you, the chaplain of the CIMG, Mr. George Jordan Robertson. A few house rules as pertains to tonight's event. We've provided everything to make your stay here warm, comfortable, and fitted. We have sanitizers all around. Please reach any of our ushers if you need to rub your hands and stay safe. Additionally, the restrooms are located to the left and to the right of this auditorium once you make your way outside. Anything we can do to make your stay here extra warm and comfortable, we're yours to command. And now with the blessing of God Almighty and all safety precautions adhered to, let me say good evening to you all and welcome to the UPSA Auditorium right here at the University of Professional Studies Accra, Ghana's only professional university blending professionalism and scholarship for the past 50 years. Today we gather under the auspices of the Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana, the body which has been working for Ghana for the past four decades as a voice for marketing practice. We bring you to the launch of the CIMG Professional Marketing Qualifications, an idea whose time has come. I am, by the grace of God, Jerry Edemajololo, and I count it all joy to be part of this great day in history. So on behalf of the CIMG, let me express renewed thanks to all of you here in CZER and all of our members joining us online who have availed your time to join us on this great historic event. It's our prayer that your time here will be worth the while. Tonight, we're live on all our social media platforms on Facebook, at CIMG Ghana, on LinkedIn, with the same handle, on Twitter, and on Instagram. So please tell a friend, text a friend, WhatsApp a friend, and let them know that a very, very important initiative has just begun, thanks to the CIMG. Tonight, a look through our program reveals a very short outline, which you see six very short remarks culminating in the address of our guest of honor. Thereafter, it will lead to the launch of these qualifications it will also be lighted with some amazing performances in between. But the hallmark of this evening's event is a presentation of the qualifications and all that there is in this event. Ladies and gentlemen, it will be remiss of me not to acknowledge distinguished members of our fraternity and friends who have come to support this great quest. We have as our guest of honor representing the Minister of Education, a Chief Director at the Ministry. Please make welcome Mr. Benjamin J.C. We're glad you joined us. Also with us is a representative of our special guest, the Minister of Energy, former Minister of Education, who is the Deputy Minister Designate for Energy and MP, ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Andrew Ejapa Mesa. Thank you very much. Joining us is a representative of the Director General of the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, who is, in his own stead is the Head of Public Affairs of this unit, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Lawrence Kwati Ashia. Thank you. We're pleased to be hosted by the Vice Chancellor of the UPSA. Please make welcome 
the CIMG Man of the Year 2018, and a fellow of the CIMG, Professor Abednego Fehi Okwe Amate. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, the president, the national president of the CIMG, Dr. Daniel Kasati, also joins us together with all the patrons, fellows, and executive council members. Please, a round of applause for our national president. Thank you. Tonight promises to be a very insightful one, but let's start it on a very blissful note as I give to you yet again the, uncompar the incomparable, unbelievably talented Ken Kabonu as he treats us to some very delectable music. A round of applause for him. Voila. Okay, we shall proceed without Ken. In his reign as the national president of the CIMG, he's been met with good fortune, culminating in the passage of this act and hearing after, ladies and gentlemen, this professional marketing qualifications that we're about to witness. It's my pleasure to invite for his opening remarks, the national president of the CIMG. Please make welcome Mr. Dan Dr. Daniel Cassati. of Honor and Minister of Education, Dr. Yao Osei Edichu. The guest of Honor and Minister for Education, Dr. Yao Edichu. The Honorable Member of Parliament for Busuntu Constituency, here represented by Mr. Benjamin Jesse, the Chief Director of the Ministry of Education. Minister for Energy, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, Honorable Member of Parliament for Menshia Constituency, and a former Minister for Education during whose reign the Chartered Institute of Marketing Act was passed. Ably represented by Andrew Ejapa Mesa, Deputy Minister Designate for Energy, and Honorable Member of Parliament for Second D Constituency. Professor Mohamed Salifo is the Director General of the GTEC, Ghana Tertiary Education Commission. He is also represented by Dr. Lawrence Kwating Ashia. Vice Chancellors, Deans, and HODs who are here present and also joining us virtually from public and private universities, including the technical universities, of course, and tuition centers, all of whom are serving as accredited study centers for the CIMG professional marketing qualifications. Professor Abednego, Fehi Oko Amate, and your management team from the UPSC. Sister professional bodies here represented physically and also virtually. Notably, from the Institute of Chartered Accountants, Ghana, Chartered Institute of Bankers, Ghana, Chartered Institute of Marketing, UK, African Marketing Confederation, Advertising Association of Ghana, patrons, fellows, and governing council members of the CIMG, valued members of the CIMG, all other invited guests, here physically and also joining us virtually, media men and women. Permit me to start by welcoming all of you to this special event, the launch of the CIMG Professional Marketing Qualifications, the first of its kind ever in the history of Ghana. I stand here tonight with some special feelings of total satisfaction and very proud to be a Ghanaian. I guess the feeling is the same for the entire professional marketing community, comprising professionals in industry, academia, students, and business enterprises. The history we are about to make is of great significance for Ghana as a whole, as we continue to travel the journey of development with the hope of catching up 
with the more advanced economics. Honorable Minister, the sad thing to note is that notwithstanding the importance of marketing to a country such as Ghana, the CIMG had to pursue the passage of the Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana Bill for approximately two decades. At a point, we nearly gave up. As the powers that be at the time advised all business-related professional bodies to come together under one umbrella for an omnibus act to regulate our activities and practice. With the coming into office of the present administration, the education ministry during their first term under the able leadership of Dr. Matthew Poku Prempena, we call him, took it upon themselves to ensure that this bill got passed. I remember the roles played by both the minister then and his deputy then, Dr. Duchum, when we had to meet the subcommittee of parliament at the Jubilee House to defend the draft bill at the time. Subsequently, there were three meetings with the Parliamentary Select Committee on Education in Koforidia, for which Professor Kwesi Yanka was present for all three meetings. This is how seriously the Minister of Education handled the bill. It was no longer therefore, it was no wonder therefore that the Parli Parliament of Ghana passed the bill in June last year and His Excellency the President of the Republic assented to it in August of the same year. Today, we have the Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana Act, Act 2020, Act 1021. As most of us here may be aware, Section 3 of the Act mandates the CIMG to, among other things, provide training, conduct examinations, and award professional marketing certificates in accordance with international best practices to improve the skills and competencies of marketing practitioners in Ghana. Honorable Minister, being a responsible marketing group, we immediately set in motion an ambitious project to ensure the complete localization of professional marketing examinations in Ghana by the end of March this year. A special project team was therefore put together under the able leadership of one of our own, Mr. Adam Sule, a chart marketer with extensive experience in industry and academia. At its last sitting last night, that team had met 37 times on a weekly basis, every Wednesday, starting from July last year. This does not include the numerous courtesy calls we paid on all potential accredited study centers, professional bodies home and abroad, regulatory bodies, examinations bodies home and abroad, starting also from last year, July. Ladies and gentlemen, the following persons deserve to be acknowledged for their tireless efforts and contributions working on this project for, since July last year. Mr. Adam Sule, I've acknowledged you already. Dr. Dr. Francis Men Sasreku, my good self, Dr. Andrew Akola, Robert Kwame Jogwenuku, Mr. Kwabna Jekuma, our CEO, George Jordan Robertson, Kofi Baku, Kofi Fume, Abigail Amma, Justice Ampea, Emmanuel Nikwe, Ebo Spio, Na Adokaile Metal Ado, and Ibrahim Fuseni. I'm not leaving out the strong team at the Secretariat, Prosper, Rita, Ashlyn, David, and Co. You did a wonderful job. These are the men and women who have made it possible for us to have this new baby yet to be outdoor tonight. Also worthy of mention, ladies and gentlemen, are the many course manual authors and course manual author monitors who are still working very hard to ensure that the course manuals, study text, revision kits, together with sample questions and answers and case studies, are all ready in good time for us to kickstart kick the first set of examinations in September this year. The joy in my heart as a, resu as a, a result of this launch partly stems from the fact that 
in the past, marketing students who had to marketing students had to pursue one of two options. First option: complete a bachelor's and or a master's degree program and start working. Whilst in industry, they will see the need for a professional qualification. They will then take it up upon themselves to find a foreign body that runs the qualification of their choice based mainly on cost consideration. They will look for tuition centers around them and enroll for part-time studies. The second option, honorable minister, is that students will start pursuing professional marketing programs right after A-level in the day or senior high school studies today. Qualify as marketers, and mostly it was from the Chartered Institute of Marketing UK or the Institute of Marketing Management South Africa. They will also go into industry to start their professional careers. Along the line, they then enroll as mature students into any of the universities around them to start, to start a master's degree program. There was a third option, which was not readily available to all. It was for the affluent and well-to-do few. This class of people often started their professional studies, mostly on this very campus, then known as the Institute of Professional Studies, IPS, now UPSC. After acquiring part two or three of their programs, and in the day, there were four foreign programs in addition to the almighty ICAG, or Institute of Chartered Accountants, Ghana. These were Chartered Institute of Marketing, UK, SIM, Association of Chartered Certified Accountants, ACCA, UK, Chartered Institute of Management Admi Accountants, SIMA, UK, or Institute of Secretaries, Chartered Secretaries and Administrators, ICSA, UK. After acquiring part two or three, these privileged students will travel to the UK and enroll in one of the universities there that awarded dual qualifications. In two years, maximum, they became qualified professionals with master's degrees as well. They will return to Ghana to meet just a few of their classmates as qualified marketers, accountants, or secretaries and administrators. The majority will still be struggling to make a headway in the professional courses. Of those who qualified in Ghana, none would have started a master's degree because they had to work and find money before doing so. And by the way, the universities then did not readily accept professionals onto their master's degree programs. In view of this, this group of people also had to find foreign universities to pursue their master's degrees. Honorable Minister, the third option aside, either of the first two was problematic in that students spent many years in and out of school to be able to acquire professional and academic qualifications, both of which are very essential for effective performance, whether in industry or in academia. Tonight, tonight's event seeks to make this kind of wahala a thing of the past. Students now have the opportunity with little resources to complete a bachelor's, master's, and a professional qualification in about four to five years, assuming one started from the first pathway, which requires the equivalent of SSSCE to enter. The good side about it is that they will no longer require foreign currency to get professional marketing education. Additionally, there are very flexible and customer-friendly entry requirements for everyone with subject level and pathway level exemptions at any entry point, depending mainly on one's previous um, educational background. Honorable Minister, to all the partner universities who are serving as the accredited study centers, I implore you to show commitment by encouraging as many students as possible to enroll onto this program in view of the role that marketing in view of the role that marketing plays in ensuring successful businesses. Non-business students should particularly be enrolled 
as they will find it very valuable in starting their own businesses, be they medical doctors, accountants, lawyers, engineers, pharmacists, planners, architects, whatever profession they, they belong to. All accredited study centers must consider this launch as the starting point of a very long rela- long-term relationship with the CIMG. As marketing is about relationships and not events or transactions. Marketing is about marriage, not mere wedding ceremonies. Let us, therefore, come together to ensure that this marriage we are starting today between CIMG accredited study centers works in the interest of Mother Ghana. To the corporate world, I invite you to also provide the needed support to ensure that CIMG succeeds in training marketers with the requisite know-how to solve local problems. In my days as a marketing student of the Chartered Institute of Marketing UK, just imagine these are some of the case studies that I had to study. Australian Tourism, British Rail, Australian Philharmonic Orchestra, Global Theme Park Industry, Oman Cement Company, Biochemical Enzymes Technology, in the beginning of the 90s, we were being required to come up with marketing strategies that will make what we call today GMOs, genetically modified organisms, acceptable in the world. Today, it has caught up with us here. We were putting ideas together and marketing these ideas to other people in their countries. As you can see, these were all deliberate programs aimed at getting the best solutions from around the globe to help solve other people's problems in their countries. The little sponsorship you can give to CIMG as corporate bodies, whether in cash or kind, will go a long way to help us defray the cost of this program. We have commissioned people from within our ranks to write course manuals for each of the 38 courses under this program. Each of them costs between 25 and 30,000 cities, depending of, on the level. So, captain of industry and the many chief marketing officers around should step forward and sponsor these manuals, even if only you have to place an advert in their pages. Help us today for a better tomorrow. This way, you would be you would have contributed immensely towards making history in the marketing arena. Honorable Minister, as you can clearly see, we have briefly briefly demonstrated how beneficial this program is to the individual students as we strive to change their orientation towards becoming entrepreneurs. To the partner universities, as they diversify their courses with the introduction of this novel program aimed at making their products more employable and also self-reliant as employers. The business community, as the program aims at tailoring direct relevant solutions to solving business-related problems that are peculiar to the Ghanaian and African market. In the end, Mother Ghana is the bigger beneficiary as our products will have the requisite skills to contribute meaningfully to the nation's growth and developmental agenda, especially in times like this, when industry is still struggling to overcome the global recession caused by the almighty COVID-19. It is for this another reason that CIMG had to pursue the passage of this bill over the years. We are by this showing our commitment to promoting Ghana's development through the localization of professional marketing training. I pause here to call on all other professional bodies to show similar commitment from their areas of practice so that we will together grow homemade professionals to help solve the everyday issues confronting businesses and Ghana as a corporate brand. In doing so, they should consider the CIMG model, where tuition does not have to be at any one or few places. Education is a product, and as marketers, 
we know very well how to employ our four P's of marketing to achieve success. Building a strong distribution channel is key, hence the use of existing channels, i.e. the public and private universities who are more than capable to deliver these programs. On pricing, Honorable Minister, the program is comparatively very affordable to meet every pocket and indeed comes nowhere close what pertains on the market today, whether as a standalone professional course or as an academic degree. We are also employing a very comprehensive integrated marketing communications covering the traditional media, below the line campaigns, including direct marketing and new media to ensure that we customize our messages to meet individual needs and requirements. For content, CIMG will concentrate on finding relevant case studies, setting questions, administering them during examinations, and releasing timely results. This is the way to go, and we are today showing the way for others to see. Thank you for your kind attention and your time. CIMG, working for Ghana. God bless our homeland, Ghana. Thank you. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to invite, speaking to us on behalf of the... Let me take that again. On behalf of the Director General of the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, who in his own stead is the Head of Public Affairs of that directory, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Lawrence Kwating Ashia. Representative of the Minister of Education, Chief Director, Benjamin J.C., Deputy Energy Minister Designate, and Honorable Member of Parliament for Second D Constituency, Mr. Andrew Ejapamesa, the Vice Chancellor of UPSA, President CIMG, CEO CIMG, fellow invited guests, distinguished members, ladies and gentlemen. I wish to express my profound gratitude to the organizers of this event for inviting Ghana Tertiary Education Commission to be part of the CIMG Professional Marketing Qualifications Lunch. The Government of Ghana recognizes education as the single most critical factor in achieving broad-based economic growth. This necessitated the ongoing reforms which has led to the enactment of the Education Regulatory Bodies Act 2020, Act 1023, that has merged the SWAL National Council for Tertiary Education and the National Accreditation Board, which has formed one entity called the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, GTEC for short. The functions of GTEC are general, advisory, coordinating, regulatory, accreditation, and any other function aimed at improving on the efficiency, productivity, and quality tertiary education. In accordance with regulations, before an entity can award recognized professional qualifications in Ghana, it needs to have a legislative backing. So I hereby commend CIMG for having gone through the rigorous process of pursuing a national status which has resulted in the passage of the CIMG Act 2020-1021, whose main objective is to set standards for the practice of marketing and regulate the practice of the marketing profession in the country. I urge other professional bodies who have not attained such status to follow suit. Now that you have a charter, it means you have become autonomous and can award your own qualification. It is therefore expected that CIMG will put in place a robust quality assurance system to continuously improve on its operations, ethics, and academic standards of the marketing professional. It must be noted that GTEC has a department which is solely dedicated to credential evaluation. The function of this department is to evaluate both local and foreign certificates. This is to ensure that qualifications are from accredited institutions and are of a certain standard that are acceptable in Ghana. 
I also want to take this opportunity to admonish employers and academic institutions to ensure that certificates, especially the ones earned outside the country, are referred to GTEC for evaluation before admitting students and hiring employees. This is to ensure that certificates are of recognized institutions. GTEC, as the regulatory body in charge of tertiary education in Ghana, will avail itself to assist CIMG to take off smoothly in a manner deemed fit. Just as we did under the SWAL NCT, which facilitated the discussions and processes leading to the passage of the CIMG Act 2020-1021, we stand ready also to collaborate with you to achieve institutional goals as mandated by the Act. Thank you once again for inviting GTEC and wish you well, even as you commence the Professional Marketing Qualifications Program. Thank you again. The head of the Public Affairs Division of the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, Dr. Lawrence Kwating Ashia. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause. For over 50 years, the IPS, now the UPSA, has been, provided, has been providing, I beg your pardon, quality education, blending scholarship, and professionalism in the delivery of their service. This evening, it's my pleasure to invite to speak to us some words of solidarity, the Vice Chancellor, CIMG Marketing Man of the Year, and a fellow of the CIMG. Please make welcome Professor Abednego Fehi Okwe Martin. Good evening. Oh, I said good evening. And let me stand on existing protocols established already to welcome you to UPSA. But first, I see my my lecturer and professor at the business school, and Prof. Kastna is here. Prof, you are welcome. Thank you for teaching me. And I see a mentor here. And I'm sure when we were entering campus, you saw the big project right at the main gate. It came based on discussions I had with a mentor in 2017 when I took over as a vice chancellor in his office somewhere at the Ghana Planning Commission. And I was asking him how he made it at Gimpa. He shared ideas with me, and then he gave me the idea as to how we can get some of these things done. And I do remember when he told me, and I took the ideas, and he said, Oku, I'm telling you, there are several variables in leadership. I've only given you an advice. If it fails, it is you. If it works, then it is me. Prof. Stephen Adair is right here with us. Thank you, Prof. <laughs> So on behalf of my team, we want to welcome you to UPSA and to say a congrats to CIMG. And I think that the best place to launch this program is this place. As the president mentioned, this is the home of professional marketing. We are the only institution mandated to offer both degree and professional programs. So it couldn't have taken place any other place than UPSA. And we see the similarities, IPS then and UPSA now. The president mentioned what it used to be. And for those who have been here some years back, we know what IPS used to be. In fact, my first idea, plan was to come to school at IPS until I got to this campus and saw it and rebelled and went to the University of Ghana. Today we see what UPSA has become. And I see the same story with CIMG. 1994, I enrolled to do CIMG. Those days, it was in Vera Beach. And the little funds you have, you have to change to pounds, sterling, and pay. Along the line, most people will stop and then find something else to do. So it's so, so more or less like a capital flight. You have money, you change, you send it. Later on in 2000, the Covenant Jacob and I would go to Manchester, CIM office. You have to go and look for accommodation in pounds. And sometimes when you go there, in fact, the way they've been treated you, it's like you are not that important. Thank God for CIMG today. We are glad what we are seeing today. And I know that the success story of UPSA, the same success story we are seeing today. The president mentioned the efforts that others have made to have brought this far. That's a testament to the, uh, the hard work 
the patience, the resilience that has brought us this far. We are hoping that this is just the naming ceremony. But it takes a lot to bring the baby up. We are going to feed this baby to go to become a matured man. Thank goodness now, we are not going to be just about Sainsbury and Tesco. We are going to see Melcom. We are going to see Kasua Market. We are going to see Medina Market as examples. Strategy will come out of it. And out of it, we are going to have proper marketing practice here. My favorite subject, of course, is public sector marketing. I do hope that CIMG will pay close attention to the public sector marketing, that the contribution to, to the public sector is going to be great. We thank the president for assenting to this bill for us. At least, we are now going to pay in local currency. And the few who run to UK to go and continue their education, and they don't come back, now they stay in Ghana. UPSA will collaborate with CIMG. And obviously, if you want to offer this course, this is the be best place to come. From the humble beginnings, UPSA has 18,000 students. But we have made sure that every student runs, if I takes a professional course, including CIM. And I have no doubt that we are going to have important collaboration with CIMG. On behalf of UPSA, we say congratulations and we'll collaborate with you. Thank you so much. And many thanks to you, Professor Abednego Kwe Amate, Vice Chancellor of the UPSC. And thank you very much for your transformational leadership. The evidence is here for all of us to see. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, there is a sound that precedes a celebration as this. That sound must come from the king of all instruments and the instrument reserved for kings. It will be played for us by the none or none other than Ose Kuranchi on the Seprewa. Please welcome him warmly with a round of applause. I'm a so Madame 
through exactly what is on offer through these qualifications is the head of the team the team lead ladies and gentlemen please make welcome mr adam sule okay marketing today by and large in this country in terms of numbers is seen more as academic okay we've heard a lot about what a situation used to be uh, with marketing in this country in terms of which tracks you can go on, um, where you have to start from, and where you have to continue from, and all that. So I'm not going to go too much into that. Now with the Act, okay, which gives us a certain mandate, a very clear mandate to do a number of things. Now for education, which is about qualifications, professional marketing qualifications. We have a mandate for certification. We also have a mandate for regulation. In addition to a number of mandates that we have, the current focus is on certification and that is why we are here this evening. So what we've been doing all this while is to make sure that out there in the market, we can put out there some very good products um, and have the opportunity um, to award certificates for those qualifications. I think we're still having a challenge, okay? So, yes, so the uh, certification is what we are doing, is what we've been doing all this while. Uh, but again, uh, as we work on certification, that means that uh, you would have to develop a curriculum. Uh, you need to have certain programs, and that is what will lead to the certification. Now, coming to the market a bit late, the Governing Council gave us a challenge and said that, look, if you're coming to the market at this time, you cannot just come as any ordinary uh, come with any ordinary solution. It has to be something that really tickles the market, something that stands out in a certain way. So as a committee, we challenge ourselves, um, and we've been able to come out with some novelty and innovative programs. In addition to the number of programs that we have lined up, uh, which are seven in all, and uh, all our programs that will be certified, uh, out of them, there are three of them which we refer to as novelty and innovative uh, programs. But even before we got there, we also had to go to the market. Initially, we had to go to the market. Um, after three or four months, after we had traveled the journey, we decided to go to the market and do a market test. And the initial research was very exciting and um, really a booster. And that is what has brought us this far. Okay, I think some coordination. Okay, good. So this is the initial research, okay? Uh, long before we finalized, came to a conclusion that this is the curriculum and these are the programs, we had to go to the market to have a feel of the market. So this was the evaluation of the new CIMG programs courses, uh, which was done in December 2020 by our research partner. It was very revealing. Okay, very revealing. Um, well, the objectives were very clear in the research, a number of things we wanted to, to know. Uh, one of them was um, to what extent that uh, both students and professionals like the programs 
that we intend um, to launch out there in the market. Now, it's quite revealing that for students, in terms of overall liking of the revised program pathways, in terms of students, 63% um, in terms of students, and, in term, and for the professionals, um, also a very high percentage there about um, which one helps me better, okay? Okay, in terms of professionals, I think I see about a 68%. Now, these percentages are very high. Now, if even you combine the two, uh, we are getting close to 100% in terms of the indication that the market gave us. So in terms of overall likeness, we scored very high at a point where we had not even reached the end of the road yet in terms of the development of the curriculum, which was very assuring. Now, also for relevance, we also went to the market to find out, I mean, how relevant the qualifications uh, would be to them. Okay. Also, in terms of relevance, for students, we had 80%. For professionals, the market said 83%. For credibility, for students, we had 67%, which means 67% of the students said the programs that they have seen are credible programs. Uh, the professionals, 72% of professionals, said the programs are credible. Now the overall picture, the bigger picture as you see here, uh, that is looking at a total of 100%, 22% of the market said the programs cover contemporary areas of business and world practices. 21% said the programs are comprehensive and more inclusive programs. Twelve percent said dual qualifications is what they've been waiting for and they're excited about dual qualifications. Thirteen percent said the overall content of the program is good or they are happy with it. Fourteen percent said practicality of the courses it's real. I mean, they can see practicality of the courses and the benefit it would be, of which it would be to them. Another 13% said structure of the program and sequencing of the pathways is what excites them about the program. And the overall content of the program, another 13% scored on that. Digitization and learning was 9%. So now this is the bigger picture even before we get to the market. And this was way back in December. We still had to go back to the drawing board and do some tweaking on the program. So it tells you that uh, what we have now that is going to the market is something definitely that has gone through a certain test. Now, I talked about um, novelty and innovation. And in the novelty and innovation, uh, we came up with um, the dual qualifications, which is a clear indication that that is the way to go, that the market has waited long enough for dual qualifications. Um, the program, in terms of... Um, a structure and the rules, there are four key rules as far as the program is concerned, as far as developing the curriculum is concerned. We're looking out for a number of things. We're looking out for a foundational to make sure that students have a very good foundation to start off with. We're also looking at applied marketing knowledge that students should be able to apply their marketing at the end of the course. 
We also focused on applied marketing skills. That is to say that um, we want students or we want products out there who are very much inclined in terms of application, uh, which is more of being practical than theoretical. So more of professional than academic. Now, we're also mindful of the fact that we had to address the issue of strategic professional marketing. So we have a combination which cuts across the programs from the first level to the seventh level. Now, in terms of categorization and focus, um, the foundational stage is where we have the professional certificate in marketing, we have the professional advanced certificate in marketing, and we have the professional diploma in marketing. This is where we build the foundation of the students. Now, the applied marketing knowledge is the stage where we have the professional applied degree in marketing. And for applied marketing skills, where we expect students to be able to really apply their marketing skills, uh, they are trained at a level where we have the professional graduate diploma in marketing. And the action of the cake which is the strategic professional marketing level. Now, this is the level where you get to, it's very easy for people to say you have arrived. Um, even though we have a, another level in terms of membership, okay? But when you get to this level in terms of qualification, then we can say you have arrived. And that is the professional marketer and also the professional masters in applied marketing. I'm going to spend uh, some time on the next two slides uh, trying to throw a little bit of light on what we refer to as our novelty and innovative programs. Okay, so we have the professional marketer, which is our USP, our unique selling proposition for CIMG. And um, for that level, the outputs are very clear. We are looking at a situation where a student picks one of the five options which have a mix of three related sectors or industry courses, which means that we have boxes of options, five of them, and we expect students to pick one of them. Now, in each of these boxes, you have three courses which are related. And those three courses are related by sector or by industry. Again, I'm sure we'll have another window which might allow students who are interested to jump boxes, that is to cut across. But I think the arrangement so far in terms of options and the five options have been well thought through. And that gives a better relationship. But you know students, and you know sometimes, um, some want to be very different. So someone might ask you why I cannot crash course. I think when it comes to that, we can look at it. Okay. Now we are also looking at this level. And then we say that um, this is the level where we can say you've achieved a high level of professionalism. Uh, I'm sure those of you who know the market and marketers would ask um, why should it be the highest? That is, what, that is why it's not the highest. We say the high level of professional marketing because as a profession, we still have what we refer to as a chartered marketer. So this is a high level of professionalism, but not the highest level. Now, the good thing about professional marketer is that it happens to be a combination of experience and qualification. So you have products who would display a combination of experience and qualification at work. We are excited about it because this is also a qualification that is highly relevant to all sectors of our economy and required to shape and promote the strategic marketing agenda of Ghana because of the sectors and industries which we have in this qualification. It gives us a wider coverage in terms of what 
marketing has to do for this country. And it gives us a more practical orientation. Now, the dual qualifications is something that has been flagged for so many years. I know a lot of people have asked, and I think the national president uh, mentioned it, so I won't go too much into it. But people have asked, why can't I have the two? Why do I have to have one and later on add the other to it? Now, the opportunity is there. So, for the applied degree, for the professional applied degree in marketing and the professional master's in marketing, I mean, that allows you to have a dual qualification. So, those are the two dual qualifications that we have, which are at level four and level seven. Now, with this dual qualification, um, a number of things have to make that possible. So, the bachelor's and master's will be awarded by the partner university after they have secured accreditation from relevant accreditation bodies. The bachelor's or master's level degree is academic, while the professional marketer award is the bona fide property of CIMG. So that is some partnership happening there. The partner in university and CIMG. The partner in university facilitates one side and CIMG provides the other. Okay, so there has to be a very strong partnership and already there are some discussions going on uh, with some of our potential accredited study centers. In terms of the channels of distribution, I must say that we are developing a great distribution channel uh, to ensure maximum accessibility. We are already in the process of signing MOU and also finalizing accreditation uh, with tuition centers, accredited study centers in a number of categories. We have the traditional public universities, seven of them, private universities, two of them, traditional technical universities, 10 of them, and other tertiary colleges, three of them. And that is, I would say, work in progress. Uh, we've had a number of uh, meetings with them. And um, we have a number, I mean, who have, a number has already signed, anyway, in terms of agreement to come on board. Uh, these things, we appreciate the fact that they do take time. So we are sure that in the next few weeks, after this launch, the others will be motivated to make sure that we move into action with the MOU. Um, these are some of the um, accredited, potential accredited study centers that we are talking to. Okay? Public universities, private universities, technical universities. Okay? And this, um, these are some of the other tertiary colleges already. I mean, these colleges are already offering tuition for CIM. That's a CIM in the UK. So it makes it much more easier. And also, we also have a number of the public universities and private universities who are also already offering some tuition. So it tells you that there is some level of capacity, and we shouldn't have a problem with that. Okay. Now, just to say that in traveling the journey in coming this far, it was very necessary for some sort of strategic engagements. Um, so we had conversations uh, with those who are out there already. I mean, those who have done it already. Uh, there was no point to start it all afresh. Uh, it was good to learn from their mistakes and make sure that we do not make those mistakes. Uh, so we had a very, I would say, strong shoulder to stand on. Okay, after those uh, engagements. So we had engagement with the Institute of Chartered Accountants, Ghana. Uh, also some engagements with the, uh, with the GTEC. Okay, with him, with, with your team. 
okay, in terms of collaboration and in terms of moving this agenda forward. Um, also some engagement with the bankers, some engagement with ACCA, and some engagement with our landlord, and also Pearson. Pearson is well known for examination, and we know we'll get to the point of examination very soon. September is not too far, so we've started that conversation already to make sure that we get it right. Because the idea is to set standards and the idea is to benchmark. So you go, you go to where you can get the best. Okay, so in terms of strategic engagement, we've done quite a lot of that to make sure that we are very much on track. Okay, so I'm going to take the last slide, I guess, or the second but last slide. Okay. And that because, is because you don't have a partnership with MT and they say you have one minute remaining. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. I understand that. I appreciate that. Okay, but it's saying what is, it, what is in it for Ghana. So, this is about Ghana. So, that gives me extended time. Okay, good. So, let's talk about Ghana. So, what is in it for Ghana? Okay, so for Ghana, we are saying professional competence, qualifications, and training for anyone interested in working in marketing or leveraging marketing as a business booster, irrespective of his or her academic orientation. So it doesn't matter your academic orientation, you still have room in this program. A stronger collaboration between CIMG and academia, leading to applied marketing qualification. That's the opportunity for the dual qualifications. That will make Ghana better in terms of marketing capacity. Added value programs with focus on entrepreneurship in marketing related jobs, provides the opportunity for self-employment. And that is what we've been carrying, crying out loud about. Reasonably modest costs to marketing students compared to alternatives, compared to the dollar, compared to the pound sterling, is modest. And taking advantage of after being export-led and driving the Made in Ghana agenda. Also, marketing professionals who are highly relevant to all sectors of the economy and required to shape and promote the strategic marketing agenda of Ghana. And that is what uh, we have seen um, in the pathways that talks about uh, professional marketer. And lastly, investment in the right marketing capacity in Ghana. We need to start moving the investment uh, in the right direction in terms of developing marketing capacity for Ghana. So I'm concluding and I'm saying that, well, as a team, it has not been very easy. We are still on the journey, but novelty, boldness, and innovation have brought us this far. And we are inspired to do more through professionally working for Ghana. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Adam Sule, the project lead, and let's hear it up for him and all his teammates for this yeoman's job. We salute you and all the gains that you've made for Ghana. If you're just joining us, it's the virtual launch of the CIMG Professional Marketing Qualifications, bringing scholarship and professionalism together by blending locally relevant context with global standards. It's happening right here at the UPSA. In a short while, we get to hear from our guest of honor, but allow me to make welcome to speak on behalf of the former Minister of Education, who in his own capacity is the Minister Designate for Energy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Honorable Andrew Ejapa Mesa, MP for Second D. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, MC wanted to give me more post than I'm entitled to. I'm actually the deputy minister designate, not the minister for energy. Uh, let me stand on existing protocols already established and bring you warm greetings and best wishes from the Parliament of Ghana. I say so because I'm not in an official capacity as the Deputy Minister of Energy, but I'm in my official capacity as a member of Parliament of the Republic of Ghana. 
I am myself very happy to join you on the occasion of the launch of Ghana's first professional marketing qualification by the Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana. More importantly, I also bring you greetings and best wishes from the Honorable Minister for Energy, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, who, as Minister of Education, spearheaded the passage of the Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana Act 2020, Act 1021, after some two decades of trying by the CIMJ, and who agreed to be the special guest at this August ceremony. Unfortunately, a family bereavement has made it impossible for him to be here this evening. He extends his most sincere apologies for his inability to attend and hopes that this event is successful. I will now read the speech that Dr. Opoku Prempe prepared for the occasion. Mr. Guest of Honor, it is a great pleasure to join you here this evening for the launch of the CIMG's first professional marketing qualifications. I am delighted for the kind invitation. In August last year, the Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana Act 2020, Act 1021, was passed by Parliament during the first administration of the President of Ghana, Nana Adudankwa Akufuadu, during which I served as Minister of Education. This bill came under the ambit of my ministry at the time, and I therefore had the honor of ensuring its passage through Parliament. Ladies and gentlemen, Act 1021 had two simple overarching objectives set out under Article 2. The first was to set standards for the practice of marketing, and the second was to regulate the practice of marketing profession in the country. This act speaks to the importance with which this government, under President Akufuadu, views professionalization and the setting of standards, as was also demonstrated with the implementation of provisions of the Education Act 2008, Act 778, which established the National Teaching Council for the Regulation of Teaching Profession in Ghana. I am delighted to note today that the CIMG is taking another important step, which is the launch of its local qualifications. In an ever-evolving society, marketing is assuming an even greater significance in our lives and the local circumstances and environment must be taken into account when designing programs. Local qualifications are therefore an important part of the marketing profession, and I would like to congratulate the Institute for this bold step. I wish you well, and I wish you many years of success and growth. I have no doubt in my mind that under President Akufuado, this country will make significant strides in every aspect, and that in this space, the CIMG will continue to play a pivotal role in our success and development as a nation. I thank you for your time, and may God bless us all. Thank you very much. The Member of Parliament for Second D, the Honorable Andrew Epamesa, speaking on behalf of the former Minister of Education, now Minister of Energy, the Honorable Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe. Please, another round of applause. I extend to him our warmest delight and appreciation for his bold and visionary leadership which has seen to the passage of this act and the way forward for our industry. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, tonight is one that calls for celebration. For a few minutes, let's appreciate the genius of Ken Kabonu as he delights us with some music before the official launch. A round of applause for him. Parts of life every time there's a way to seek growth in our expectations every day just like marketing so dynamic we grow progressing into success once a marketer always a marketer the infusion of dynamism, standardizing your qualities, matching the competitive world we find. Let's take this walk on every step. Whilst we grow and bet our systems in our traditions 
and grow. That's the only way we'll touch the world. Like I said earlier on, before we started, professionalism is what we proclaim. A tug of excellence, which will bring us miles further than we dream. I'll keep the song as a short one. Let's keep it moving on. Our success depends on all of us. The Chief Director at the Ministry of Education to address us on behalf of the Sector Minister, the Honorable Dr. Yao Osei Educhum, as our guest of honor and to officially declare this duly launched. Please welcome me warmly with a round of applause. I bring you special greetings from the Honorable Minister of Education, in whose stead I stand this evening to launch this evening's program. Honorable Ajapa Mesa, Rep of Honorable Matthew Opoku Prempe, the Vice Chancellor, UPSA, and all Vice Chancellors, Deans, and Heads of Departments, hearing guarded and those online. The president of CIMG, patrons, fellows, and the governing councils of CIMG, members of CIMG, invited guests, media men and women, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a great honor and privilege to be here for the launch of CIMG's professional marketing qualifications. And I would like to express my gratitude to the Governing Council for this special invitation as guest of honor and to perform the launch. I bring you special felicitations from His Excellency Anna Adudamkwa Ekufuadu, President of the Republic of Ghana. On behalf of the Ministry of Education and the Honorable Minister, I would like to congratulate the Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana on reaching the significant milestone. Government and the ministry expect the leadership of CIMG to continue to work hard to improve the achievements that have already been made. Mr. President, as we rightly mentioned, the Parliament of Ghana on June 4th, 2020, passed the Chartered Institute of Marketing, Ghana Act. 2020 Act 1021, which was speedily assented to by His Excellency the President. It is worth noting that similar bills for other professional bodies were also passed under the first term of the President, Kufu Adu led administration. Thus is ample testimony of His Excellency's desire to ensure that all professional bodies in Ghana are adequately empowered legally to put in place measures for self-regulation to guide the conduct of individual members and their professional practice. His Excellency the President, in doing thus, envisage a situation where all professional associations, especially those who until now were heavily dependent on foreign programs, 
for their professional training to be able to wean themselves off with local alternatives. This way, His Excellency also imagined a Ghana where all professionals are truly trained locally and thereby taking off the persistent pressure on our local currency as it was in the past. Without compromising on the quality of the trainees. Thus, in the view of the president, is how a sovereign state like Ghana should conduct its affairs, especially so when His Excellency has been vigorously pursuing the Ghana Beyond Aid agenda right from his first term in office. Mr. President, the Ministry of Education is reliably informed about the Governing Council's efforts to integrate professional marketing courses with academic programs using existing infrastructure in the country's many institutions of higher learning. Thus, we understand will make it possible for students of the various universities to obtain dual qualifications simultaneously whilst in school. This is indeed unique for which the Ministry of Education and government will encourage all stakeholders to ensure its success, considering the enormous benefits as outlined by the national president. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my expectation as we witness this launch today that other institutions will emulate this worthy example of CIMG by performing partnerships and collaborations with others to review and modify their, their respective curricula to meet current trends and demands of our time. This way, Ghana will be producing graduates who are practical oriented in finding practical solutions to the myriad of challenges that confront the country. On our part, the ministry assures CIMG of the necessary support for the smooth implementation of this program, as it has the potential to promote tighter collaborations with the universities serving as tuition centers and their regulators, the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission. Ladies and gentlemen, as it has been amply demonstrated, the government of His Excellency Nana Akufuado is unwavering in its dedication to promoting quality education. We have done this by ensuring that the nation's existing universities have built the necessary capacities to accommodate the unprecedented number of applicants into our universities this year, following the success story of the first batch of free SHS students. We continue to do this to ensure that all institutions of higher learning receive a fair share of infrastructural projects as we foresee even higher numbers in the years ahead. On this note, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to once again, on behalf of the Honorable Minister for Education and on my own behalf, warmly congratulate Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana on the occasion of the launch of its new professional marketing qualifications. With the support of the representative of the Honorable Minister for Energy, would you join me upstairs, upstage? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With your permission, I shall also invite upstage.
the president of the CIMG, yeah. together with the vice chancellor of the UPSA. And I'd force you, sir, to declare. With the support of the gentlemen around me here, I have the honor to declare the CIMG Professional Marketing Qualifications duly launched. Great strides. The Chartered Institute of Marketing, Ghana, has always been an app and innovation. This is why we are excited to announce the CIMG Professional Marketing Qualifications. CIMG has designed practical courses to help you make that dream a reality right here in Ghana. We are geared up and ready to support you on this journey to becoming a world-class professional marketer. Register today and be on your way to greatness. For more information, call us on 055-274-6592. Visit our website, www.cimghana.org or email us on info at cimghana.org. Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana, working for Ghana. To God be the glory is finally here. Mr. President, Honorable MP, Chief Director, with your permission, may I invite to join you here the Governing Council of the CIMG together with the CEO and the project team led by Mr. Adam Sule to take this group photograph. A round of applause as they come. I'll need a little help with the lectern. It's a day to be joyful. After 20 years of travail, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally here. The CIMG Professional Marketing Qualifications. Put your hands together and let's celebrate. Teamwork, perseverance, hard work, and all the attributes that have come in handy to make this a resounding success. We salute all the hands that have contributed to this great feat, and we say, long may this flourish. Ladies and gentlemen, a resounding round of applause as they take their seats. Thank you very much. Yes, and fellow colleagues, my name is Gillian Musike and I'm the Secretary General of the African Marketing Confederation, AMC, and the Chief Executive of the Marketers Association of Zimbabwe. The AMC is an amalgamation of pan-African body of marketing professionals spearheading the ongoing development of the highest possible standards of marketing across Africa, guided by our key objective of developing and enhancing knowledge exchange across Africa, the AMC is determined to create outstanding networking opportunities throughout the continent, as well as provide global exposure to our members. Today, on behalf of the marketing fraternity from across Africa, we join hands with you, our colleagues, from the Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana as you launch a great milestone in the development of our profession of marketing. I have no doubt that great work has been inputted in the new marketing qualifications we are launching today. Esteemed marketers, colleagues and friends, the COVID pandemic has taught many entities across the globe that if you don't quickly adapt, you expire. And marketing is one of the fundamental professions that can help sustain the business under any circumstances. Peter Drucker once said, marketing is business and business is marketing. Today we have moved to marketing 5.0, 
which is a fusion of marketing and technology. Technology is at the heart of every transformation and we as marketing professionals are very much in sync with what is going on in our world. Let me hasten colleagues and esteemed professional marketers to congratulate the leadership of the country of Ghana. You've demonstrated that democracy is possible in Africa. And such a feat is a great example for many on our beloved continent. I also wish to pay great tribute to the lawmakers in your parliament. We have supported an act to be passed in relation to marketing, as this gives the requisite confidence to those who are practicing it. Many African countries are still lagging behind in recognizing marketing, and we salute Ghana and the CIMG for this great stride in ensuring that marketing is learned, recognized, and implemented to the highest level. Once again, on behalf of the African Marketing Confederation, on my own behalf and on behalf of the marketers from my own country, Zimbabwe, I wish to say congratulations, uh, well done to CIMG on this great launch. I thank you. It is my joy and pleasure to deliver this solidarity message to the Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana and your key stakeholders as you launch the CIMG Professional Marketing Qualifications. On behalf of the Governing Council of the Institute of Chartered Accountants Ghana, members, students, management and staff, we congratulate CIMG for this landmark achievement. As partners working towards enhancing Ghana's productive capacity through human capital development, we are indeed very proud to be associated with this event. It has been said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. By implication, CIMG has begun the journey towards providing a local solution to potential students desirous of acquiring a marketing qualification without the challenge of buying foreign exchange. Students must certainly heave a much needed sigh of relief. This effort by CIMG is definitely a step in the right direction to guide our teeming prospective students to appreciate our much homegrown professional educational solutions. It therefore behoves on CIMG to beat the competition with strategic support in order to ensure that you not only woe undergraduate students, but also graduates and postgraduates seeking an upgrade of their qualifications to enhance their marketability through their competitive enhancement. Nelson Mandela has said, and I quote, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world, unquote. There is no gain saying that in a knowledge economy, education is the new currency by which nations maintain economic competitiveness and global prosperity. It is one of the most critical investments one can ever make, and more especially professional education. Professional education is not a magic wand. It is a strategic approach to ensuring that new learning developed by any student in their quest for a modified approach to thinking would be applied in every sphere of endeavor. More importantly, it becomes the driving force to propel management decision making into actionable plans and decisions. Therefore, CIMG's local marketing professional qualification is a step in the right direction. With the multiplicity of professionals in our bank of skill sets, our nation will be stronger as we inculcate tangible and valuable knowledge into the next generation of leaders. We are therefore certain that CIMG will enjoy many years of good success as it navigates this trajectory. On this note, I once again take the opportunity to wish CIMG a successful launch of the marketing professional qualifications. We look forward to partnering you on this journey of making professional education a formidable pillar of our dear nation's growth and development in the years to come. Thank you once again. Congratulations.
Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the Institute of Chartered Accountants Ghana and the African Marketing Confederation. Now that the accountants have assured you of their support, I pray that it will translate into support for your budget also. In Jesus' name. Oh, well, your confession will be your possession. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, help me acknowledge once again the representative of the Minister of Education, the Chief Director, Mr. Benjamin Jesse, for that warm and glowing remark. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. Thank you very much, sir. Please extend to the Minister our appreciation and please tell him that we'll count on his generous support going forward. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is befitting that we say thank you to one and all from the CIMG. Here to do that for us is the National Vice President. Please make welcome Mrs. Agnes MFA Essa. Mr. Benjamin Kofi Jesse, Chief Director Representative of the Minister of Education, Dr. Andrew Mercer, Deputy Minister Designate of Ministry of Energy, representing Matthew Okuku Prempe, former Minister of Education, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Professional Studies, Professor Okwe. The Registrar of UPSA, deans and heads of accredited study centers present, all media men and women, and all partners who have been instrumental in bringing us to this day. First of all, on behalf of the Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana, on behalf of the National President, the CEO, all fellows, patrons, on behalf of Mr. Sule, and the project team and their tiring work who would like to give God glory for this day, to thank the president for this act that was enacted last year, Act 1021, the mandate of Act 2020. We thank you all for being part of this remarkable launch and we wish you well. We know it has been a long journey, but we continue to rely on your support as we make this dream a reality in Ghana. Thank you so very much for coming to be with us today. Thank you. Mrs. Agnes MFA, ladies and gentlemen, the National Vice President of the CIMG, please, a warm round of applause. And so I have good news for you. Upon leaving here, a copy of the qualifications will be made available in your mail. Isn't that good news? Ah, CMG, we're going forward. And so, if you're just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, it is the launch of the Chartered Institute of Marketing Qualifications. It's right here at the UPSA. It's been time well spent, and all we can say is that with the CIMG, what we're offering is dual qualification that brings academic and professional experience together in nature with a syllabus that's robust and responsive to the emerging issues that plague us in the world of business and work. For example, business ethics, digitization, and institutional development, and development of marketing insights using machine learning and big data. I trust that you will join us by visiting our website and all our social media handles to acquaint yourselves in detail what's on offer. I am, by the grace of God, Jerry Ajololo, and from all of us at CIMG, I say, Let's keep working for Ghana. To this end, let's rise and do something very significant on a day like this. Do you have your phones with you? Ladies and gentlemen, please, do you have your phones? Then as many people that you can capture within the precinct of your phone, let's do some big selfies and send a message out there. Can we do that? All right. So at the count of three, ladies and gentlemen, when I say CIMG, you say qualifications, then you snap. Are we ready? And so CIMG, and you snap. CIMG, then you say working for Ghana. CIMG. And for the last one, going live today. CIMG. And so take the best out of the three. Use any of the hashtags, CIMG qualifications, CIMG working for Ghana, and CIMG going live today. Send the message out there on social media. We've made it happen. The first of its kind in Ghana. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we shall all congregate at the front and take a group photograph by the banner. 
Thank you very much for coming. Good night, goodbye, and Godspeed.